He did it, win that Super Bowl, with a torn MCL in his first season with the Bucs. Quarterback coach Clyde Christensen admitted that last season Brady never felt good, and the injury limited his mobility due to it being taped so tight each game. So talking to reporters yesterday, Brady says he now feels better than ever. Take a listen. Uh, physically, I feel great. Um, best I felt, you know, really in a long time. So, um, you know, I feel like I'm in a good place and I'm just going to keep working really hard to, we've got one week, about three and a half weeks or so. It's the first time in 14 years I haven't had to wear a knee sleeve. I mean, every picture I've had since for 14 years has been a knee sleeve and in games I'll still wear a knee brace just because I still want to protect, um, you know, from kind of a vulnerable, vulnerable spot for a quarterback, you know, your front left knee. But, um, it's just nice to practice and feel like I can just kind of put a pair of shorts on and run out to practice. And it's good, though. I'm feeling, like I said, physically feeling great, mentally in a good place. Um, I'm just really excited to see what our team can become. Shannon, this is a really, really important question. How tired are you of hearing how healthy Brady is now? I'm exhausted. Still. Are you? Mm -hmm. I really am. And the more they talk about it, the more they turn people off. They're like, I get, we get it already. But Skip, Tom Brady's 43. Most 43 year, 40, well, I'm yeah. saying at the time, he was oh, 43. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skip, you have bumps and bruises. What did, I mean, what did they think, Tom was a 22 year old his first year out of college? Of course there's gonna be wear and tear. And he's talking about affecting his mobility. How? He was a Statue of Liberty to begin with, Skip. He, they make it seem like he had Kyler Murray or he had Lamar Jackson, Michael Vick type mobility. Mm -hmm. And it really inhibited him from doing all the things. Tom Brady has, Tom Brady might have 100 career yards rushing. And they're making it seem like all of a sudden, we get it. But what does last year have to do with this year? There are a lot of guys that play in a knee brace that they don't practice in the knee brace because you heard him say it. I've always had the knee sleeve on in practice. I didn't wear the brace, but I always wear the brace because I want to protect it because that's a vulnerable position. Mm. He's not the first. A lot of guys only play, only plays in the knee brace. Mm. But I, I don't, Skip, I don't get why they keep trying to rehash this. We've got the greatest story ever. We got a guy that played 20 years in one location. He goes to another location, learns a, a very different system, even though they uh, 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 ingratiated some of, the, some of the plays that he's familiar with. He wins the Super Bowl, becomes the first team to ever win a home Super Bowl, which means this, the, they, they won the game in the various stadium they play their home game. But that's not good enough. Mm. Skip, I got, that, that's, not, that's not a good enough story. I got to add yeast to a cake that's already 15 feet high. Mm. Why? Why does Clyde Christensen feel like he needs to keep saying, oh, Tom was this, Tom was that. Tom. Bruh, we get it. But the more you do this, the less people believe that it's actually true. Mm -hmm. Because it seems like you keep trying to tell a story. You say it once, you move on. You don't have to. It seems like everything out of Clyde Christensen's mouth is about Tom Brady's knee and what he couldn't do. Mm. How about his arm? Could he throw the ball? Ain't nobody running no zone read with Tom. Nobody ran no. When last time we saw Tom Brady want a quarterback keeper skip? So he's not going to do that. So he's not nearly as limited as, a, say, a Lamar Jackson or a Michael Vick or a Kyler Murray would have been, mm. or even a Josh Allen, if they had the same injury. Mm. Tom Brady is slide, slide, what we call phone booth quickness. He's going two steps to the left, two steps to the right, get rid of the football. Mm. But Skip, I'm, I'm exhausted. I, I, I really am. I mean, they've talked about this ad nauseum. And I'm getting nauseous mm. because I'm, I'm, I'm over it. But last year has nothing to do with this year. Can we just move on now, Clyde? Mm. Okay, you know, okay, we get it, Clyde. Tom had an injury. It's over. Can we move on? Are you saying you are skeptical that he actually had a torn knee ligament that he played the entire season with last year? Skip, no, I'm saying is that the more you reiterate something, the more people like, I don't know. You try an awful hard to convince us that this is what actually happened. Mm. If you tell somebody something one time and it, it sounds convincing, people are okay. But when you keep bringing it up, you keep bringing it up. Hey, man, let me tell you about that time. Okay, that's a lie because you keep adding to it. Mm. Okay, my turn. The most underrated talent a quarterback has is what I call pocket mobility, what you just called phone booth quickness. Mm -hmm. Slide stepping 
is gold for a quarterback. Yeah. The, the ability to sense, have the sixth sense of he's there and he's coming there, and I have to slide 45 degrees left mm -hmm. before I plant and throw. Right. And if, if you have a torn ligament in your knee, wh whichever way you have to move, if you're going to plant on that left knee, mm -hmm. It, it, it's going to hurt. It, it's it's just going to be irritating. It's it's not going to be debilitating. It's just going to annoy the hell out of mm -hmm. you because it's you're you're going to wince a little bit right. e even in your subconscious because you know it's coming when you plan. Right. It's not going to feel great, and he overcame that all last year. I'm sure he just sucked it up and just tried to bury it in his subconscious. Right. Like I know it's there. I just got to. I, I just got to figure out right. how to play through it. Great. You played through a thousand things. Yeah. Th this is a hard thing for a quarterback to play through. Obviously, he cannot run down the football field, right. and he doesn't He doesn't even try to run but down the But the quarterback the position field. is the only position that could actually play with that injury or offensive okay. lineman because they're not moving. I buy that. But I have said from the start, this guy has ballet dancer feet in the pocket. Yes. It's very underrated gift that he has yes. because you, you have the to great be able to do it. this. Just, just it's, 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 it's imperceptible quickness with your feet to reset, to reposition yourself, to throw while that defensive end is swiping and missing you. Yeah. Okay? But you're doing all that while keeping your eyes down the field. You're not looking at this right here. All, you're, all this you down the field is just in the second nature to him. Okay. So he's just saying I'm in such a better place than I was because it's been 14 years since I actually got to go out to practice without a knee sleeve mm -hmm. on. I think he feels like a kid again at 44. That, it, you know what he said? I can just put on shorts and my, my top and just run out the so door. He's, so, so for the last 14 years, he's had this injury? Well, he said he's had knee issues. Because yeah. remember, you got to go back to what, what year 2008. was it? 2008 when he, opening game, mm -hmm. he, he got right. it torn up. Right. And it's that left plant right. foot, yeah. right? That's the plant. Yeah. He said that's the vulnerable one. That's yeah. why from that point forward, he had to wear a brace. Right. And he still said, I'm going to wear a, a precautionary right. brace on my left knee when we play football games, Correct. right? Yes. Okay, so I get all that, but he's just freer now. And he talked yesterday about how. It's so much easier now. He, he, he compared what last year was. He said, I, I went to the first day at camp last year, and he said, I didn't know what Tampa right meant because he said it's like going from English to Spanish. Yes. Right? That was Tampa, a, yes. It's a whole, I don't know how it was from, from Denver to Baltimore mm -hmm. for you, but, mm -hmm. but the lingo is all different. Right. Er, everything's named differently, and so it's not second nature. When he's calling right. a play in the huddle, it's like you're trying to translate into Spanish and like, well, right. What does that mean? Exactly. It's hard to process. Mm -hmm. And he said now it just rolls off his tongue, second nature, where he right. doesn't have to think about the play call. Right. He can actually think about how am I going to execute the play. That's exactly he right. He said it was so hard because not only was I not comfortable with the play call, but I wasn't comfortable with how my players can execute that play. Will they be there where, where I think they'll be, Correct. or are they different right. than, than what I right. used to, to work with? That, and then he said on top of that, you, then you have to, to try to figure what is the defense going to do reacting to your guys because you don't even know right. how you guys are going exactly. to Exactly. And that's the, that's the hardest part, Skip. That's why you don't see a whole lot of quarterback movement. Every other position okay. get traded. Right. Offensive lineman, a, a wide receiver, a running back, a DB. But not the quarterback, Skip. Okay. They, because they, it's they so don't. hard. Okay. So what happened the first eight games last year? It was hit and miss at yes. best. And there were some big misses, man. That Sunday night against New Orleans, it was a disaster. At Chicago ended up being a disaster, mm -hmm. right? It, it, yeah. it was hard to watch. And then guess who arrived? Antonio Brown arrived. And guess what? He hurt his knee. And it's a meniscus tear, so it wasn't like a ligament damage. Right. But he had the first surgery of his career this offseason and got it cleaned up. And Arians is saying Antonio Brown is running the way he did four or five years ago. Yeah. So if Brady is 100% healthy and freer mentally, and Antonio, who, who kept getting a little better by mm -hmm. the game, even though he was struggling with his knee and had to miss the, the NFC Championship game at Green Bay, right. if, if those two guys, probably the the two key components on offense, wouldn't you say? Right. Because Brady loves Antonio and vice versa. Right. If they are 100% healthy, you don't think this offense is going to be even better right out of the gate mm -hmm. than it was a year ago? Yeah. Yes. 
I think it's the best offense. I think it's the most explosive offense because, as you well know, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin are really yeah. good. They're yeah. Pro Bowl caliber, yeah, right? Yeah. And Gronk looked like he was, you know, he can't do quite what he used to, right. but, but in spots and stretches. And, that, and, that's, and that's how they use him. If you look yeah. at his skill, what, how the way they used him, he had he was like, they just milling around, they're doing a lot of blocking, yep. and he catch a pass here, catch a pass there. But come playoff time, <laughs> you see they start to feature him more. They did. He starts to become the Gronk that we know, the guy that's as good an offensive weapon yeah. in playoff as we've ever seen in the NFL. And, and, and I, I mentioned to you, O.J. Howard missed the whole year last mm -hmm. year with an Achilles tear. He, he's a stud. Yeah, he, he's, he can be, he can be, he's he can be really good. He's gifted, yeah. right? Yeah. So I don't know how quickly he'll bounce back, but it's almost like an embarrassment of riches. It's almost like too much of a good thing at receiver. I don't, you only have one football, right? I believe Tom Brady going to a new system and the verbiage, Skip, the plays are the same, but the verbiage is different. It's kind of when I hear a wall route, I'm like, wall route? Oh, that was a short cross in Denver. So that's what that is. 50 protection, one protection. When I'm in Denver, I stay in and block. 50 protection in Baltimore, I'm free to release. Yep. 70 protection. Uh -huh. I'm out to release. I stay in and block him. So uh, that's what it is. It's the same thing. I'm still running corner. I'm still running an option route. But we calling it something different. Tom Brady's heard the same verbiage for 20 years. Right. I had only heard the same verbiage for seven years. So he almost tripled yep. the amount of time of hearing the same verbiage. And now he going something to Tampa. Tampa, right? What the hell is Tampa, right? That's what he's saying. And it's a little paralysis by analysis. Right. Because if you have to keep analyzing, right. wait, how did that go? It, you, you can't free yourself to think of what you should be thinking. Because everything Tom Tom Brady, Tom Brady knows. I know the play, now the defense. Okay, I know the play, I know the defense, I know where everybody's going. Oh, they're going to take that away. That's not going to be there. So I'm not going to even waste my time with that. Let me start two to three.